I'm Louis Cole, and back in 2015, I bought an amazing converted school bus from a guy in Mexico called Pablo. He had won it in a raffle from a German couple, Felix and Mowgli, who had made a documentary called Expedition Happiness of them converting it and driving it down from Alaska to Mexico. I flew down to Mexico with three friends and we had an epic road trip back up to California, where the bus lived for a couple of years with my friend Cam on the streets of Venice. During that time, I took it on a few fun road trips, but never got to live in it full time. It was then parked up for a few years and after a failed attempt at making some money as an Airbnb, I decided to rescue the bus and me and my fiance Raya decided to take it on the road and move into it full time. I did some upgrades to the bus, including building a huge custom roof rack and then we loaded up everything we owned and hit the road. We traveled the US for a year and then drove it all the way down through Central America to Costa Rica, just in time for our wedding. And this will be its final resting place as we parked it up on a plot of land we have in an eco village where we're gonna build our dream house. The road trip down was quite the journey filled with unforgettable moments and challenges but we made it. So we parked it up two years ago and it's been sitting on our plot ever since. As you may have seen it in the previous couple of videos I had to rip out some of the floor due to it getting water damaged back in 2022. We then had to leave it parked up for over a year as we relocated to the UK to start our family. Sadly it was broken into during that year and over five thousand dollars of our belongings were stolen. So finally we've returned and in the last episode I managed to assess the damage, rescue our belongings and move the bus off the road into our lot. Our next plan is to redesign the interior to accommodate our growing family and hopefully later this year we will build an awesome house around the bus to help expand the space we have. In today's episode with the help of my dad we will be starting to dismantle and remove the interior and unfortunately are about to run into some devastating surprises. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day. Last vlog, if you watched it, we leveled the land and we moved the bus from the main road onto our lot. And in today's video, we are gonna start renovating the inside of the bus. Now, just to catch you up to date, eventually this bus is gonna be further up the land, kind of parked up there, and we're gonna build uh, a roof and have like a, an outside kitchen and bathroom. And we're gonna turn the inside of the bus into the living area and bedrooms and stuff. So unfortunately, we're gonna rip out the kitchen, the shower, all of the stuff which we've enjoyed for years and it's been incredible but for this new phase in the bus's life we're going to be uh, ripping all that out so today is the start of renovation mainly i think unscrewing things ripping them out dismantling and looking at what we need to do doing some reflooring we'll probably keep the bed in a similar position but i'll talk you through our plan as the video goes on so you can kind of see what we're thinking but it's hopefully going to be a lot more useful for us and create a lot more space for us to live in once this is all done and repositioned and the buildings built which i'm hoping is the end of this year potentially beginning of next year when we move back here so let's get cracking my dad brought a bunch of new power tools last year all my tools got stolen from the bus annoyingly so a whole new set of power tools. Annoyingly, although they're the exact same tools and batteries as the US ones, the chargers won't work on 110 volts because they're set to run on 240 and you need like some kind of voltage transformer or something. So I had to order another battery charger which arrived last night with Raya's mum who arrived. So we've now got four 18 volt 5 amp batteries, one charger that works which is currently charging a battery and uh, I thought to start with we just need two tools with the ability to do a lot of unscrewing because we've got to un unscrew all these units so got the screwdriver and drill put some screwdriver bits in them and hopefully make quick work of dismantling everything Instead of screws, they could just use the staples and you can yank them out with one pull, so they're good. But you've got to be careful of all the sharp staples that are on there when you're taking it out. Okay, phase one complete. I think we're going to leave this here because it's just a nice little safety thing for the door opening for Neo. If we want to put a little stair gate and then we'll refloor that with some new laminate. Right, we're moving on to the kitchen area. My theory is this one's gonna come out easily because I already took it out 
and put it back in again. But let's tackle this one because I think this is going to be a bit more challenging. I think I tried to like take this cooker out before and I couldn't figure out how it was screwed on, so I think it's going to be like a bit of a puzzle. Uh, I think with this advice, the Louis had made is that it's actually not quite the right height. You had a great journey, let's say. I'd uh, open this for two reasons get a bit of daylight in, get a bit of air in, and uh, be able to stand up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! This, guys, we have been attacked. I'm gonna run over to Sears and get his hoover. This is hideous. So this is where the nest was. Wow. Okay. Right, I just ran next door to get a vacuum cleaner from Sia, who is just over the hill. So you may have seen a sneak peek of this moment on our Cuppers channel a few weeks ago, but as this vlog continues, you're about to see how big this infestation really is. I think the nest might continue. It's just disconnecting the gas pipe and now the oven's disconnected. What's under here? Well, a few, a few. It's quite the fiasco. Good, we've got and bite, nip there in seconds, it was bleeding. Crazy. So, is it stinging or is it just uh... It's stinging a tiny bit, not bad, not bad. But... Uh, We're gonna move the final the kitchen fridge. unit. This is gonna, do you, do you say any, any little bit here, sir? Yeah, I think we keep this wall in place. Whoa! Is, is that, that like the termite's nest? That's like the main termite's nest. Oh, what are these guys? Silver... Silverfish. Silverfish. What is that? Wow, what is that? I think before lunch we can take this whole Get other on. side of the kitchen out and just clear this whole front section. All right, we're just turn turning the off. water supply off. Really nice. Really excited about this refurb. Oh, I feel it just feels so much more expansive. This is fresh. I put this on because this is all molded. Okay, so we can repurpose that. That's only a year old. Last bit for this area. We were thinking about maybe leaving these up. We might replace them because they're rotted a little bit and put something back up there. But for now, we're going to take them off and just keep them outside. But I do think having some storage in that area makes sense because you're not standing over there because of the curvature of the, the roof. made amazing progress this morning. This is coming out next and then we're going to assess. Maybe we just tackle this side first and then we tackle that side. My prediction is there's a bunch of ants under here. Away. Wow, it's like a tunnel. Oh, look at them all just, they're so tiny. So we've got to determine how many of these like termite motorways and tunnels they've got all around the place. So this is all eaten, this is a full termite nest. There's so many of them here just crawling around. I 
can't imagine a door this size being any heavier. And it smells quite damp still. I don't know for how damp that is, it smells. It could, it could all be leaked from the shower. That's probably why they've gone for it, is because it's, it's already rotted, so. It's too my head. We have a repeat scenario from when I was digging up all this rotten flooring and replacing it. I basically didn't go far enough. This is all uh, the same, maybe even worse. And it could go under even further under there and stuff. where the toilet was sitting. This is the toilet room, this was the fridge. We're gonna leave this platform in place because the wheel arch just comes all the way up to there anyway. Although we may need to replace this because it's termites have been eating it. There is a wire that's been fed through a hole but we can't be bothered to undo the switch because we want to use that. So we're just gonna saw through the baton instead. <laughs> we are, check with that. Perfect. <laughs> Nice. We are having a little experiment. We're trying to figure out how to dismantle the shower without destroying all of the lovely tiles. It might be something that we can't do. But it's such a nice shower, such a nice tiling. I'd love to preserve some, but it might just be a, a, impossible. I have a little investigation, because I remember when I took this off before, I could see the back wall of the tiles. And I'm just interested how it's all connected. Oh wow, okay, two bucks, two bucks. Woo! This is the fresh ply that I put down a year and a bit ago. I can see the ant's nest in the side there. Oh my goodness, it's the ant's nest in the ply. Do you want to hand over a chisel and I can try and take this corner? But this was like completely fresh, which makes me think rain is definitely leaking in. I think we need to get the hoover in there again because the ants are exploding out of their nest. Right, we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna go and have a little swim before the sun dips. I think we've had a very successful day. I am very curious how many ants we have in here. Do you think they are all dead? Oh. Oops, no, they're not dead. They're not so all dead. Know. Wow, look, look. And yeah, the whole thing inside there is. Look at, look at the size of these heads. They are, the jaws are just huge. You see the whole thing is moving. Millions of ants. Well, not millions, but thousands. Okay, we're back on the bus. Yesterday was very productive. We've cleared out this whole area. Today, first task is to tackle the shower, take out like the tiled walls and figure out how rotted all of this is underneath. Okay, we're gonna start by taking out this side, which is the flooring. We'll take out the, the gas boiler. Gas is disconnected, hopefully. This is gonna be the biggie taking this shit out because it's all beautifully made and rather strong, but leak. We're gonna to have to smash that out because it doesn't really belong in the scheme of things because that's gonna be like a closet and a bedroom, I think. So that's gonna all be ripped out. Dad is just removing the light switch so we can I start think dismantling this. A lot of termites under here. My hope is we can dismantle this shower without smashing all the tiles, but we're gonna have to smash some of them, I think. Because that screw that I've just revealed there, indicates the tile, indicates that all the cement board is screwed on first, tiles put on top after that. Yeah, I guess if we can disconnect it here and at the bottom, can we prize the whole thing? Look at that. Look at that. We 
trying to save some of these walls because they've just been beautifully put together, fantastic color of tile. A lot of work and love has gone into this area. My plan is to take out as much as I can of the small bits, try and save some of these walls. Pretty tile, very pretty tile. this board out. So, <laughs> I don't think it's a flat sheet, let's have a look at that. I think that has just broken up into a gazillion tiles. Oh, it's not too bad, that. Just got back, talk us through what's going on. I had a smashing time. <laughs> uh, well, I, I was looking at it does look like you it. it. We have pushed off one board, save one. We're just having a look at the second one. Wow, that is got most of that left over. Completely rotted yeah, through. Whole, you know, three by two. That is mad. That must do you, what, what do you think? Rainwater or shower water? Who knows? Just taking out some of these structural members, you can see the damage caused by the termites. Uh, they just eat. Through it. Wow, this feels so open now. And that is very removable without smashing it with a bit of it. Straight up. A few interesting things. We found the flooring here is like two inch concrete that's been laid down. So much concrete under here that we're just gonna have to dig up, but we're gonna take the walls off first. My theory is with a bit of leverage, we can just pull this wall straight off. We are trying to get rid of these kind of pests. That is, that is under the shower, pretty wild termite infestation. That is mad, isn't it? I think this has got to come out. It's all got to come out. And have a look up under the wheel. It's all up in there, isn't it? It's rusted there. There is a lot of rust. A lot of rust under there. Might need to do some welding. We are now going to attempt to get this whole concrete floor up. This is one of the biggest, most challenging things I think of this renovation. This might be the worst rotted floor I've seen yet. This is heaven for ants and termites. One of the new tools my dad brought from the UK is this multi-tool, which kind of vibrates and you can, I guess you could like cut wood that way amongst other things. I've never used one of these before. I think I've got, I think I've gone through it. Oh, oh I didn't want to do that. It just nicks the edge of the laminate.
It's just hordes. Marching along here. Marching. Let's get the hoover. There might attack here. Pull this up here. It is pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna carefully lift up some of these boards. Oh, that's lifted up the whole side. Okay, whatever. Oh, I found the mother load in here. No. Oh my goodness, in the Swiss. looking at this huge hole. This is where the floor has literally just disintegrated all the rust. Probably where the ants are all getting in. The termites. I think there's, I think we build a new bit of metal framework before we start laying new flooring. I don't know, that's mental though. Idea is that today I'm going to be working in the bus, doing as much as I can. Hopefully it won't be too, too hot. And there we will be uh, looking to strip it inside and get it ready for putting new flooring in. Hey, this is not too hot. So amazing, this is actually not too hot. I'm gonna save those. open up the walls and we have down here a ginormous ant's nest. So two actually. So they're going crazy. So all these cavities are going to be filled with ants. Uh, job to get rid of all the cavities like that where they can uh, hide out. Whoa! I thought that was a big one. Look at these. Done now. Just want to show you the state of wood in that area. One side looks nice and flat like that. Behind the whole board has been totally eaten well. You can see that the whole lot has just been totally demolished. This is just a thin veneer. And I've got this afternoon to get that end wall out, get these drawers out, get all the scrap through, and take up the floor. So that's my plan this afternoon. This, that is just teeming with termites. And then if you could just come along to here, you can see that they've just demolished that plywood. This is a new piece of plywood. And this is where the termites have demolished this bit of plywood. I've come to check up on my dad's Hello, progress. Dad. Woo! Wow, there is some, there is some damage in there. This, uh, this was fresh. Wow. Wow. I think so much water was getting in. Probably half of it is rotten. So we might just have to bite the bullet, strip through. And I'm looking at ripping out. These are replacing. Because what happens is this. You lift a board and suddenly there's an explosion of ants, whether it be the termites or the, just the larger ants as well with all the eggs. And we want to get out of some many of those kind of things, all the cracks and crevices they're in, and where the rotting wood, they just continue to um, munch away and eat the, the bus apart. So I, I'm looking to possibly re-floor the whole bus. Very rotten, very swollen. Well, 
this is the last morning of working in the bus and uh, I've come up to sort out uh, a few things so that we can start putting furniture back in or shall I say storage boxes. Uh, it's pretty clear. Uh, I did this late last night. That's it. I think I'm going to sign out here. I've done about three days work to get this uh, all cleared. So we've gone right back to the insulation boards and buttons which ripped off all the floor. So as you saw, my dad finished clearing out the bus, lifting all the floor out. Thanks dad so much for all this help. Couldn't have done it without you. We've now filled it with boxes temporarily, but it has been quite heartbreaking coming to terms with the fact that all of the work you saw in the first couple of episodes of me replacing the whole underflooring in the bus was basically wasted that it still got damp again rotted termites came in oh, and having to strip the entire interior where originally we were going to leave the flooring in some of the walls we were just kind of going to redesign it but we're going to have to start from scratch and it's really gutting and i know way back when when felix and Mowgli decked it out i think they spent like 60 grand doing all of this work so we've had to strip it all out back to basically the frame of the bus it took me a while just to wrap my head around it, but I think it is the right move. Obviously we have to get rid of all the rotted wood. And this means the bus is ready for phase two, which will be coming in the future where we will get it under a cover so there's no chance of rain leaking in and getting damp again. And we are hopefully gonna do that by putting it up in a building, like I've talked about, up in the top of the lot. And then, yeah, we will uh, redesign and build it inside and have it as this beautiful bedroom, living room area. And I'll be sharing some plans about that. In the meantime, all of these boxes are gonna be stored in a shipping container that we're getting delivered. You may have seen some updates about it in the couples channel, which is ahead in the videos of this channel. So that's why it might be confusing on the timeline. But yeah, I'm gonna shift all of that. We're gonna buy some shelving, put it inside the container, prep it all inside, put the boxes in and have all of that finished before we leave Costa Rica and head on to the UK. The next video on this channel is going to be quite an ambitious challenge. I am going to run over 10 miles and a thousand meters of elevation up a mountain. I've been doing a bit of training, but it is like mid 30s, almost 40 degrees Celsius every day. The sun is beating down. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but yeah, that's my next challenge. I'm going to do a mega high elevation run and uh, let's see how we get on. See if I survive. Catch you in the next video. Peace.